רון ארד שלום. שלום. And welcome to culture buzz. רון, we are sitting here at the Jerusalem Israel Museum and behind you we can see your new creation 720 degrees. Right. We can't see it really because it's not switched on. We can see, well, we can see some of it. It's a it's a local name 720 degrees because it was born in London where my studio is it was called curtain call curtain call curtain call and it was exactly a year ago that uh, we opened in London actually it's a few a year and plus a couple of days because the day of the opening was the famous day of the riots in London oh so talk about coincidence well It wasn't because of your work, I hope. On the, uh, you know, the, uh, on the contrary, because they were, we, after the opening party, we were locked at the roundhouse until three o'clock in the morning. Because while, of the riots. Be, while the, the rioters were looting all the shops around. Uh, but we looked at our uh, phones and, and blackberries, And the riders tweeted each other, don't touch the roundhouse, leave the roundhouse alone, because the roundhouse is a good place for the community. <laughs> so, it was okay. Wonderful. Ron, uh, I believe that uh, today uh, you can't speak about uh, Israeli artists making or creating a buzz. Some of my best friends are Israeli artists. All over the world without mentioning you. When it comes to design, when it comes to your art and work. The thing is that art is not football, and it's not the Olympics, and it's not... Uh, everyone comes from somewhere, and everyone grows up somewhere. And everyone is born to a language and to a culture, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. I happen to be born here. When I say here, I mean down the road in Tel Aviv. And that, that is, you know, like a great part of me. Um, I, most of my life I lived in London, like two-thirds. Uh, and I started to work in London. I mean, I started to work when I was eight here, but you don't count it. So, um, so I'm, uh, I'm always a bit, not... Not reluctant, but uh, uh, skeptical about this uh, national uh, La- labeling. Pig- labeling, labeling, holding and yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's fine. Basically, we are talking about uh, the cosmopolitan aspect of any artist's work. Yeah, although you'll find that in literature, for example, some writers with great success. Are writing about their community, their sort of, I don't know, take anyone from Magnon to, to, to Marquez, to people there, they're, they're writing about, their international success comes after they've reported about where they come from. And this is, you know, like one way of being, some have some Spanish artist friends that are so Spanish and they write in Spanish about Spanish things they love it. I always felt a bit of an outsider not that, not in a bad way in a good way I like being an outsider I wouldn't have it any other way for an artist it's a must sometimes uh, no some you know I just you know just made a case for people that are not outsiders that are apologize in advance for daring to ask you this question after the subtle warning you gave me if we had uh, pressured you to look at your work during the years and do try to find an Israeli characteristic it's not difficult you know just uh, do you know the museum in Holon of course. Well, the one you designed yes so yes. this is like it, the work was done knowing where it you know where it's going to be built I'm not 
saying sort of vernacular architecture, but it is very much... All around. Yeah, and very fingerprints. much... Fingerprints. Your fingerprints are there. You have been a central figure in world design for many years now and uh, I can't find anybody better to ask uh, the following question. When you look at the world design today, when you look at the Israeli design, where do we stand? How do we match up if at all? Uh, look, it's a place it's not, it's not Olympics, I know. It's not and it's... look... Uh, the, a lot of enthusiastic, idealistic, talented people here. But I can say the same about Belgrade, you know? It's, uh, uh, I, all, I can also say that there is a very active art, artistic community here. And uh, there is sort of a quality of being from the periphery in the intensity. I'll also say that when I was, when I ran the course at the Royal College. I was the professor of design product at the Royal College for 12 years. You can see um, every year like where the best portfolio, the, the, the best applicants come from. And I have to say that in recent years we had a lot, a great number of, of uh, graduates from Bezalel and from They, they really excelled. Some graduates are doing really well. And it's not because they say uh, in the application form that they come from Ron Arad's country. No, absolutely not. Absolutely mm. not. Yeah. Uh, but, as, you know, I think that... I think they got a very good... A very good you know, the, uh, the course at the Royal College is a postgraduate. And I think they, they get a very good... Education here in Shankar, in, yeah. uh, in, in Cologne. Ron, you have accomplished uh, so much. What can we wish Ron Arad? Uh, the things will continue as they are. And that uh, here, this, uh, this part of the world is you know, as peaceful as one might think looking outside here. Well, I want to thank you for taking the time to thank congratulate you. you for this and good thank luck. You. you haven't seen it yet. Thanks.